We're in the midst of spring training before the Colorado Rockies are at bat in the team's first game of the 2020 season. Season opener against the San Diego Padres is slated for March 26th. But before we get there, I want to bring in CBS Denver sports anchor and expert Michael Spencer for some thoughts on the offseason and spring training. Michael, how's it going over there? Hey, good, Katie. Thanks so much for having me on. Hey, so what you've seen so far in spring training, I want to ask you, who do you think is going to be maybe a breakout player for the Rockies this season? Well, it's an interesting thing that they have going for the Rockies right now because despite a really, really terrible season in 2019, they didn't make any offseason moves. Their mindset is that the team that they had in 2018 and 2019 is pretty similar to the team that they have heading into 2020. And they are confident that the guys who had down years in 2019 will rebound and they need a lot of that to happen. And I think one of the key guys is going to be Kyle Freeland. You know, you look at his numbers in 2018. He he was 17 and 7 as a starter, had an ERA of 285. Then last year was 3 and 11 as a starter with an ERA of 673. So Kyle Freeland and the bullpen are going to be key for this Rockies turnaround. There are a lot of people in Denver that aren't happy with the Rockies. They're basically just hoping that the 2018 team will show up and that everybody who had bad years in 2019 will all of a sudden have a good year in 2020. So that's what they're pinning their hopes on heading into this season. And I think Kyle Freeland and Wade Davis coming out of the bullpen are two of the guys that the Rockies will need to have big years in 2020 if they want to accomplish uh, what they feel like they can accomplish despite the fact that they didn't make any moves in the offseason. Michael, you've already discussed several players, but I want to ask you, are there any other important players, maybe good or bad, that we should be watching this season? Well, Nolan Arenado, who I think everybody knows about, obviously there was the issue with him and general, Mater, general manager Jeff Breidich in the offseason. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see how he maintains his composure and his personality throughout the season. And Katie, there's a feeling that if things go south early for this team, things could get really contentious inside that clubhouse. Not necessarily with Nolan and the other players, but with Nolan in the organization. So that'll be a huge issue. And I think that's part of the reason why the Rockies feel like they have got to start hot. So Nolan Arenado is going to be kind of the key guy to watch. And can the pitching staff, can John Gray get off to a good start? Herman Marquez as well. And then as I mentioned, Wade Davis and those guys in the bullpen, they need a lot to go right and they need it to go right early in the season in order to keep this thing intact. Because if it starts off ugly, things are going to go south in a hurry for this organization. And Michael, obviously a lot to improve on from the team's last season, but given Colorado's roster pretty much the same and what you've seen so far in spring training, <laughs> what would a successful season for this team look like? Making it back to the playoffs, I think, would be a success. And owner Dick Monfort said that he expects this team to win 94 games. I think he's the only person on the face of the planet that expects this team to win 94 games, if we're being realistic about what they can do. Now, that being said, the guys that I talked to when I was down in Arizona for spring training, the players inside that clubhouse and manager Bud Black, they all love that their, man, or that their owner came out and said, hey, I expect this team to win 94 games. They like that. They're kind of rallying behind the fact that nobody outside of their organization has high expectations for them. But if this team makes the playoffs, it'll be a successful 2020 season. Sounds like they might be playing with a little bit of the chip on their shoulder then this season, at least early on. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Michael. We really appreciate it. The Rockies and the Padres face off in San Diego March 26th at 2, 10 p.m. Mountain Time. Katie Johnston for CBSDenver.com.